Hello my dear subscribers and visitors of my channel. I'm very sorry I haven't posted a video for a while. It was a busy month. But today I'm going to show you how to make this beauty. It seems to be a very trendy flower right now. We will need one and a half inch girl green ribbon about 79 inches long, different size beads, needle and thread. I will leave a full list of materials in the description box as well. Take your ribbon and fold the corner. Dab the glue to secure the ribbon. And now we're going to fold the paddles and string them on a thread. So take the long end of the ribbon and fold it to look like a big triangle. Then bring two ends together. This is our first paddle. Take your needle and thread and secure it at the base of the paddle. We're going to keep folding our ribbon into triangles. Now we have two paddles. String it on the thread. Keep folding until the end of the ribbon. After a few paddles are folded, it might be hard to hold them. Just put them all on the pin and keep folding the paddles. When I started editing, part of the video was missing, so I had to reshoot it with different ribbon. When you get to the end of the ribbon, you should have 25 paddles. Cut off that little extra piece. Seal the end with a lighter. Once again, dab the glue to secure the ribbon. And string it on a thread. Now we're going to sew the first and the last petals together.
we also need to sew them on the bottom. Now we are ready to sew in the beads. Pick the paddle you want to start with and repeat the steps shown in this video. Make sure your needle can go through the beads before you start sewing. Once you have the first bead on the thread, put the first and second petals together, then insert your needle 2-3 millimeters from the top of the petals and 5-6 millimeters from the pointy end. Grab another bead and do the same thing with the second and the third petals. Continue sewing in the beads until the end of the row. After all the beads are sewn in, connect the last paddle to the first and tighten the thread. Then go through one or two beads to make sure it will stay tight. Fasten off the thread inside the paddle so you can't see the knots. Prepare a new thread for the second row. For the second row, take smaller beads and sew them in between the beads of the first row.
Finish off the second row the same way we did the first one. Repeat all the steps in the third row. In order to finish the flower, we need to secure the bottom, because right now it's too flexible. To do so, we will just sew through all the paddles on the bottom. Now we are ready to work on the center of the flower. Just push it down and attach it to the bottom with a few stitches. All the hard work is done. Now cover the back with a felt circle and glue your center. I would love to know how you decide to use this flower. Whether you decorate a hatband with it or turn it into a brooch, leave a comment below this video. Also, click like if it was a useful tutorial for you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.